when may this man servant after washing your lotus feet and brushing your teeth with the teeth sit you in the bathroom and having anointed you with very fragrant oils massage you there explanations in the previous verse Shri Raguna Das had a vision of his service of washing Shimati's lotus feet and in this verse he sees him herself rinsing Shrimati's mouth brushing her teeth with a twig taking her into another room and massaging her with fragrant oil there how intense is his devotional yearning and how vivid and genuine are his spiritual visions when the sadhaka has such a vision he feels as if the beloved deity takes him by the hand the more purified the heart is the more vivid these transcendental experiences are. By the mercy of Sri Gorasundara, all these beautiful things have been revealed by the Acharyas. Is there any greater cause of art rending lamentation if I am deprived of the treasure they came to bring although I was born in Gorasundara's age in the previous verse Shri Raguna Das had the vision of himself washing Sri Radhika lotus feet in the morning and when this vision disappears he feels a greatly burning sensation in his heart Seva Diya Pranaraku save my life by giving me your devotional service. <clears throat> These aspirations for Radana, Radharani's devotional service do not arise in an ordinary art. They will arise in the heart of a person who is able to completely give up his dependence on the material world. How can Radharasya find a place in a heart which is filled with worldly feelings? The working of Maya must have disappear from the mind and intelligence. The Lord tells Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita, Mai Alpita Mano Buddhi Yomad Bhakta Senepriya 
the devotee who has offered his mind and intelligence to me is very dear to me. Radharasya is even more difficult without full absorption it cannot be done. Srila Raghunathas Goswami was once absorbed in his bhajan in an open place on the bank of Syamakunda, while Krishna stood right behind him, relishing the sweetness of his of this devotee's love. Just then, two tigers came to drink water from the kunda, passing by Rai before Raguna, who did not notice anything, being completely absorbed Shila Sanatana Goswami saw what happened from a distance and said, Raguna, you will spread your fame if you sit out here in the open. Bhajan, the void of humility, is lifeless unless you engage body, words, and mind. You cannot sever the rasa of bhajan. Therefore, stay in a cottage and meditate on Swamini's form, qualities, and pastimes there. Sanatana Goswami, whose mind was sprinkled with love for Sri Ravana did not tell him what had actually happened. From that day on, the Kutir system started at Radhakunda. Lakin is the side service Sri Ravana cries but by Swami's grace he gets a transcendental vision of his Siddha service. Tulasi uses a soft twig of a mango tree to brush Shiradika's teeth and pours water on Swamini's hands from the nozzle of a golden picture. The water becomes red when it runs over Shrimati's hands and the fragrant water she pours over her face becomes even more fragrant afterwards. Swamini spits the water with which she flushes her mouth into a golden yota. With the fingers of her left hand, Tulasi wipes Swamini's curly locks away from her limitlessly beautiful and lustrous forehead, cheeks and eyes to avoid that she becomes overwhelmed by remembering Syama through the bluish color of these locks. It is the service of Bhavamahi, whose Mahabhava is thus welling up. When Tulsi takes Swami into the bathroom 
after combing her hair, she gives Swami a matchless sabal by showing her a sweet picture of Mohan there. Pointing at it with her finger, Tulsi says, Your teeth look like pomegranate seeds that attract the power of Vrindavan. Here he is. Look at him. Shaka had drawn that picture when she had just fallen in love with Krishna. Purva Raga. Tulsi reminds Swamini of the sweet history of that picture, saying, Swamini, I remember you once wrote a letter to Krishna saying, You are living in my house as a picture, and whenever I flee, there you are standing to stop me with stretched out arms. In this way, Tulsi makes Swamini relish the sweetness of her previous pastimes and simultaneously washes her mouth and brushes her teeth. Blessed is this man's servant. This is the internal beauty of Radha Dasya. Absorbed in identification with the guru given Siddha Svarupa, one serves Swaminiji's Ujvala Murti, the practicing devotee should learn service like tooth brushing by meditating and how the eternally perfect servant Tosi performs them. They are the gurus of the Yugala Seva that have descended from the Vrajani Kunja along with Sri Mahaprabhu to take the neophyte devotees out of this material world into the Nikunja abode by teaching them Manjari Bhava Sadhana. Tab Bhava Lipsuna Karya Raja Lokanu Sarata. Those who desire that move follow in the footsteps of the people of Raj. Bhatti Prasamrita Sindhu. Take my food, Take something. Shri Rupa and Ravana Das Goswami are these people of Raj that have given the sadhakas a perfect example of how to perform Manjari Seva both in the internal and external bodies. Tulsi has brought Swamini back to external consciousness.
consciousness by making her relish the remembrance of previously played pastimes. After Swamini brushed her teeth, Tulsi ends her a bow-shaped tongue scraper. Swamini holds this scraper between a tender in the index fingers and thumbs and cleans her tongue with it. Her body gently rocks along while she scrapes her tongue. Tulsi smiles slightly when she sees this for this motion reminds her of a certain classical situation and by showing her the splendor of her smile, Tulsi makes Swamini most happy. For it also awakens her remembrance of this Rasika situation. Again, Tulsi makes Swamini flush her mouth and then she wipes her hands and mouth with a thin white handkerchief. Did you drop a bread here? Swamini then washes her face once again with the nectar of her own smile. The devotee who is fixed in Smarana should be completely free from external consciousness and should identify himself only with his Sita Swarupa. The form, sound, touch, taste, and fragrance of Swamini is the only means of survival for such a devotee. He has closed his eyes for the material world and all other thoughts are insignificant for him. Prema Bhatti Sudaniti Tahe Dubo Niravadi Harayoto Kshara Nidi Praja Prema Bhatti Chandrika always die in the nectar ocean of loving devotion. Everything else is like an ocean of alkali. The bathroom is in a secret quarter. The door is closed. Swami is alone with Tulsi, sitting on a marble chair. <coughs> All the paraphernalia for her bath are put ready. Tulsi is rendering the service of rubbing Swamini's limbs with oil. She reveals Swamini's Sri Yanga, beautiful body, and massages it with oil. Fortunate Tulsi can now freely massage those limbs that even Mohan is not allowed to see with oil. To 
you see massages all over Radhika's limbs from tip to toe with fragrant Narayana oil, a special oil for sore muscles, touching hair, just, just like Krishna. If that close my, I will not understand your a special oil for sore muscles, touching hair, just like Krishna does. This is a heart service. First of all, she opens Swamini's cloud blue bread. Moistens it with with the scented oil and combs it with a jewel comb. Each strand of hair is dearer to hair than millions of lives. Tulsi experiences all of Swamini's sweetnesses. Gorange Radima, the softness of her golden body. Smite Madurima, the sweetness of her smile. Netranchale Dragima, the wildness of her eyes and Bakshoje Garima, the vastness of her breasts. When she is finished, she calls Radhika, thus breaking her meditation and Mohan, like a bolt out of the blue. Startled, she radicals ask, Who is it? Oh, is it you, Tulsi? Your touch is just like Mohan's. It is the service of Baba Mahi, all emotional radical, and one must dive in the waves of these Babas, learning these services from those who have already died in before. <coughs> Blissfully render loving devotional service with Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Manjulali Manjari, Shirasa Manjari, Kasturika and others. From Prema Bhatti Chandrika Narottam Dastakur. I will follow in their footsteps and render loving devotional service. Simply and their ins, I will understand what is my duty. I will always be passionately absorbed in Radha and Mohan's forms and qualities while I reside amongst the Sakis. By simply continuing to meditate on these things, the revelations will come. Bhavite Bhavite Krishna Spuraye Antare Krishna Kripaya Agya Pariyarasa Sindhu Pare Chaitanya Chaitamrita Madhya 19 Through 
constant meditation, Mohan will appear in the heart. And by Krishna's grace, an ignorant soul will cross over the ocean of Rasa. <coughs> You want to say something? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> so I was thinking maybe after finishing I would like to say this is a, this through constant meditation Krishna will appear in the heart. By Krishna's grace, an ignorant soul will cross over the ocean of Rasa. So like a Vaidhi Bhakti we may say, an ignorant soul will cross over the ocean of material world, material suffering. But here, Naganoga Bhakti Bhajan cross over ocean of Rasa. I just remember uh, Bhagavad Gita 1010. So if we surrender to Krishna, and then Krishna send us to the lotus feet of Radhika. And then we become maid servant of Radhika. Then we could see the divine Amara's pastime of Radha and Mohan in Nikunja or Nivriti Nikunja. And then <coughs> Radha Mohan taste so much rasa, so much loving, uh, ecstatic feeling. And Manjari was seen little small fall of leaves in Kunja. And Manjari feel like Radha Rani feel. So just to Baba explain. By Krishna's grace. An ignorant soul. It, this is a single, single, an ignorant soul. <coughs> we cross over ocean of Rasa. <coughs> so this is Baba, Baba's humbleness, Baba's realization. It seems Baba's seeing this this all divine pastime and he show us how to how to do this how to cross over or how to dive in to the ocean of the sun. <coughs> Bye-bye.
Strong. See you, Japan. Strong. With my I'm sorry for this time. Consciousness 
as the result of intense transcendental devotional meditation. Repeat again, it's not become clear. That grass worm. Huh? The grass worm, a worm, a worm that stay yeah. in the grass. So slowly, yes. Who gets trapped in a hole by a hostile bee becomes a bee also by always being absorbed in thoughts of it. Be it in fear and enmity. If one can go through such a metamorphosis, means change, through a material process, what doubt can there be then that one can attain Manjari Svarupa giving up material bodily consciousness as a result of intense transcendental devotional meditation After massaging her limbs with oil, Tulsi will now perfume Swaminis with lotus pollen and soft fragrant powders. When Tulsi massage her with oil, Swami experienced the touch of Mohan. To see coal is falling from the sky for her. While she perfumes Swamini, Tulsi attracts her attention by reminding her of her previous pastimes with Mohan and thus drones her in waves of Rasa. Swamini, I remember how one day I perfume you in a lonely place on the bank of the Yamuna. And that Nagara was sitting up in a high Kadamba tree, secretly watching you in this sweet undressed state and winking to me not to tell you as if repeatedly begging me with folded hands. Tulsi, let me enjoy this sight for a moment. I gave him so much relish that time by showing you to him in this beautiful way without dress and ornaments. Blessed these mere servants are with this sublime service they know exactly how to serve according 
to time, place and circumstances bringing all these valuable memories to Baba Mai's art and making her swim in waves of rasa. Swamini is immersed in the bliss of Krishna consciousness when she hears Tulsi's Rasika descriptions Priti Vishayananda Tad Ashayananda Chaitanya Charitamrita The pleasure of the object of love is the pleasure of the subject of love. <coughs> Blessed is this Kinkari. She serves exactly according to the requirement and the time. Now follows the relish of the Snana Seva. In this way, one service follows the other. O oh, Radhe, I will wash your lotus feet and brush your amazing row of feet before bringing you into another room for your bath where I will beg you to sit down on a platform I will anoint your tender limbs with fragrant oil and then behold your brilliant fragrant body. Raguna Das Goswami sits in his bhajan kutir and offers these prayers with all his heart. O oh, Aripad, if you desire such devotional service, then worship the lotus feet of Das Goswami in your smarana. <coughs> and thus finish the 20th verse. Can I share with the I think better to share when there is a line. Okay. This is not a way to share. Okay. Then I will not understand, you will not understand. Okay. You are not so pandit. No. I am Baba. No, no. So that time I should share. Okay. Sorry to say. Yes, yes. <coughs> share. Okay. So Baba said, the water becomes red when it runs over Swami's hands and the fragrant water she pours over her face becomes even more fragrant afterwards. So, like already water is fragrant. But after touching Swami's body, Swami's face, and then more fragrant comes. Like a Shringara, 
Krishna or Manjari put Shringara on the Radhika. All the Shringara is beautiful. Or Radhika is beautiful. Radhika itself is beautiful. But if put Shringara with loving feeling and Manjari or Moha, then the Shringara with Radhika, Radhika with Shringara, is more beautiful. Like uh, Radhika's foot is already red. So actually, Manjari does not need to put red lamp. But if we, if Manjari put red lamp, and then that red lamp uh, with Swamini's lotus feet become more beautiful. And when this red luck in the past time touches a <coughs> Mohan or a Manjari, that become more tasteful. Read the life and then explain. Okay. Please. Okay. That is meaningful. Mm -hmm. So this thing I just say. Repeat again. Okay. Without explaining what you want to say, you read no meaningful with that. Okay. How we will understand the words? We will not relate. Okay. Lacking his desired service, Sri Raghunata cried. But by Swamini's grace, he gets a transcendental vision of his Sita service. How transcendental vision come? This is mentioned. Mm. Hint is here. Mm. Because of cry, greed. This is the point. Mm. What I am telling behind what is the meaning? Mm. If we need transcendental vision, mm. I have to greed and cry. Mm. If I don't want, then no cry, no greed. Mm. How you can explain after? Yes, the thing. Yes. Never. Mm. Again read okay. and explain. Okay. Lacking his desired service, Sri Raghunata cried. But by Swamini's grace, he gets a transcendental vision of Siddha service. What is the mercy? When the greed and cry is there, then mercy can come. If I have no greed and no cry, mercy will never come. Clear? Yes, clear. Yes. Torasi uses a soft tweak of mango tree to brush Sri Radhika's teeth and pours water on Swamini's hands 
Por um zanozuru of a golden pitcher. Please all have to meditate to everyone. Everyone has to meditate. Then it will come. Torashi uses the soft tricks of mango tree to brush the radical teeth and pours water on Swamini's hands from the nozzle of a golden pitcher. His mind has to be there. Mm. Here, there, now. The water becomes red when it runs over Shrimati's hands, and the fragrant water she pours over her face becomes even more fragrant afterwards. So this Torashi Manjari puts the water and this water is fragrant. And then pour Swamini's hands and face. And Swamini's face is like a lotus. Naturally, so much nice fragrance there. <coughs> so, and then fragrant water touching the lotus face of Shurimati Radhika. That water becomes red and more fragrant. So just uh, I was thinking, Radhika's body, so a few days ago we are discussing with Goranga Sundara, uh, describes the uh, like uh, ornaments. Manjari put ornaments on the Radhika. Sometimes Krishna put ornaments on Radhika. So Radhika's Radhika herself so beautiful. Ornament itself, themselves, also very beautiful, brilliant. But uh, if ornaments put on Radhika's body, like a molten golden body, that's molten, that's ornaments become more beautiful. And Radhika with ornament is more beautiful. I just remember this pastime. Also pastime footwork also. Just uh, yesterday or a few days ago we have led. Radhika's lotus foot is itself red. Foot sole is very red. Actually, Manjari does not need to put red luck. Very red, very beautiful. But still, Manjari put red luck on the foot of Radhika. <coughs> Then that foot track with Radhika's lotus feet becomes more beautiful. And also, this enlightens the pastime of 
Lada and Moha. And sometimes Radhika become a little bit angry. A kick on a kick manjari. But sometimes Moha at that time that red rock with mark on the manjari's this shoulder or arms <coughs> sometimes Mohan try to touch the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika and put on it on his head then red rock also on the Krishna's head then Krishna's pleasure was so much increasing. So these things, like uh, I feel some kind of relate, some kind of relation. So how Manjari Seba is beautiful. And uh, how Manjari is relishing, or sometimes Mohan is relishing this pastime. <coughs> Sorry, good day. Another, another thing. <laughs> so I'm reading little this sentence. Torashi said. Your teeth look like pomegranate seeds that attract the parrot of Vrindavan. Here he is, look at him. Vishaka had drawn the picture when she had just fallen in love with Krishna. Sometimes Radhika's teeth is pomegranate seeds. So this parrot of Vrindavan was so much attracted. In the first verse of Virapak Sumanjali, so this mentioned Oh my dear friend Rupa Manjari, in the township of Buraja, you are well known for your chesty. You don't even look at the face of other men. It is therefore surprising that your lips that are as beautiful as red bimba fruits. have been beaten, although your husband is not at home. Has this may be been done by the best of parrots? Of course, this verse mentioned Rupa Manjari. But Radhika's feeling reflect Rupa Manjari. So Radhika's lips is like bimba fruits. Oh 
also radicals teeth is like a pomegranate seed. So always best parrot or parrot attracted. These radicals, beautiful teeth and lips. So this kind of remembering this pastime also. And also another sentence. <coughs> Like man, so they, they means manjari. They are the gurus of Yuga Seva. That have descended from the Buraja Nikunja. Along with Shuriman Mahaprabhu. To take the neophyte devotees. Out of this material world into the Nikunja boat by teaching them Manjari Baba Sadhana. That Baba Lipsuna Karya Buddha Lokanu Sarataha. Those who desire that, uh, those who desire that mood, follow in the footsteps of the people of Raja. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Shri Rupa, and Ragnadas Goswami. Are these people of Buraja that have given the Sadaka's perfect example of how to perform Manjari Seva both in the internal and external bodies means Siddha Deha and Sadaka Deha <coughs> so this Shriman Mahaprabhu when Shriman Mahaprabhu came in this material world so Mahaprabhu is Radha Rani or Radha and Mohan Whenever Radha comes, <coughs> his manjari also has to come. So Rupa manjari, Lati manjari also came in the form of Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami. This mention, this very impressed. They want to take the neophyte devotees like me, like, like me, out of this material world into the Nikunja board, not the spiritual world, not the Vaikuntha. It's Nikunja board. <coughs> How? by teaching them Man Manjari Baba Sadhana. So this is amazing gift of Sri Man Mahaprabhu and Rupa Raghunath Goswami, Shat Goswami in Vrindavan. So by teaching in Sadhak Deha, it's okay. 
He is teaching by service. Without service, without living in the service, you cannot get it. Like cleaning the teeth, everything, service directly to serve. That is deity worshiping. Seva. Ishta Dev Seva. Connection with Ishta Dev. And second thing, in Siddha Deha, how to meditate, he said. That is the warm how he meditate. Read that one. First, Krishna mercy is required to know in soul. And soul consciousness coming, that is spiritual relation with people. If not on the material relation, we want to move with the material body. Without mercy of Krishna, it we cannot remove our ignorance and not come to the realization of a spiritual identity. Second point. So this is Krishna's grace bus. Though constant meditation Krishna will appear in the heart and by Krishna's grace an ignorant, ignorant soul ignorant man like us who is totally material maya this is ignorance by Krishna's grace an ignorant soul will cross over the ocean of rasa. Cross over Maya for rasa. Hmm? Cross over uh -huh. the Maya hmm. for rasa. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> yes. So Guru Dev saying, at first we cross over the Maya, material energy, then we can enter the Lhasa, and then dive into the Lhasa. <laughs> cross over the Lhasa, not. <laughs> <laughs> dive in the Lhasa, Guru Dev. Dive in Lhasa, when we will go out from Maya. Mm. 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 Material influence. Mm. When it has liking to me, mm. material thing, mm. then we are not crossover. Mm. We like and we want to live there. Mm. Okay, again I leave the service for Radhika. Lacking his desired service, Sri Raghunata cries. But by Swamini's grace, here Swamini's grace, he gets a transcendental vision of his Sita service. Torasi used a soft twigs of a mango tree to brush Shri Radhika's teeth <coughs> and pours water 
on Swamini's hands. From the nozzle of golden pitcher. The water becomes red when it runs over Shurimate's hands. And the fragrant water she pours over her face becomes even more fragrant afterwards. Yeah, warm stories. So I said, at the moment you have to stop. Okay. And more clear to this. Okay. Warm. The way. Okay, good day. I see you also do this way, and Goranga Sundar also do this way. This not works. Mm. Okay. You know relate. <laughs> okay. Okay, again, I want to read Bhagatam Bas. Is okay, Guru Dev? Huh? Warm the story. Oh, yes. Okay. In Srimad Bhagata, 7 Canto, one, Chapter 128, Bas. Narada Muni gives the example of the absorption of the grass worm. Grass worm, like we. <laughs> the grass worm who get trapped in a hole by a hostile bee becomes a bee also by always being observed in thoughts of it. Be it in fear and enmity. If one can go through such a metamorphosis through material process, what doubt can there be then that one can attain Manjari Swarupa, giving up material bodily consciousness as a result of intense transcendental devotional meditation? So actually, I don't know. <laughs> this grass worm is meditation become like a bee. This is a, uh, this is happening. Happening. Yes. Yes. Srimad Bhagavad they cannot deny. No, 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 no. I, I do not deny, but I'm not seeing like this. No, you never see that is happening. Mm. When we will do this, then it will happen. Mm. This. One wall makes silk. It happens like this. Silk is the warm. Mm. Larvae. Huh? Larvae. And this worm makes silk. You change in the form of that, and this is also an animal. Worm. Mm. 
about the flowers? Butterfly, like this. They change the form. Mm. Yeah, butterfly is maybe, maybe good, huh? Or sometimes like a seed, seed, huh? No idea. Some form. And any form. This is because of the fear. He changes form. And it become big. He has by love we change our form. Mm. Mm. Also be a love. He is also love. <laughs> It's also before I think some other B. It doesn't go around, but it's also. The material form change. Yes, the truth. Even even our face change. Because we are so much in that meditation that mm. we change. Sometimes uh, you know. So we have some dogs, and then always see dogs taking care of dogs. Then that person becomes that their face become like a dog. And also, I've seen some devotee was taking care of deity always. Then that devotee face become like a deity. You know, sometimes Guru Dev's you know face become like Mohan, you know. Because uh, of course Guru Dev many things radical, but also Mohan. You know? So like, uh, also I I have one friend, Pabupa disciple. He is always meditating Pabupa. Then his face become like Pabupada. This is the physical body change. Yes. Excuse me. But Siddha Deha will not come. No, 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 no. We are talking for Siddha Deha. Yes. So, Again, you bring to the material form. No, 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 Guru Dev, I'm saying. So, even material form also change like I this. I don't like material form. <laughs> you like my spiritual form. Sure, sure. We are talking on that. Sorry, because this mentioned the warm story there. Warm is like we are warm. Mm. And we want to live and eat shit. We don't want to change our material. But by fear, mm. we change his form. Mm. Here by love, we don't want to change our form. Mm. And without meditation, it's not happening. Mm. We think something else and it will happen to me. It's not working. Mm. That is the meaning of this. Mm. We have to meditate to change myself. Mm. Completely yeah. mm. This greed has to come, and this has to be good. Mm. Mm. Greed and cry. Cry. If greed increases, then naturally, if we could not get, then cry is coming. And surrender is And meditation, meditation, what point? This is Raghurata Goswami teaches us. My mind is going different place. One pointedness is not. Greed will never come, cry will never come. So Guru Dev often says, how to get this greed? This is Radha Kata from Rasko Vaishnava. One day my heart can pure and we start sliding. We understand because of impurity we listen but we don't understand.
Guru Dev, could you give some comment to this, this sentence? Priti Vishaya Nanda Tad Ashraya Nanda Chaitanya Charita Murita Love This is my goal Love Living in the Pariyam is the Pariyam Vishya, Vishya. Vishya. And Ashraya what? Vishya. Vishya Nanda Tat Ashraya Nanda. The translation like this would be. The pleasure of the object of love. In Bangla. In Bangla, okay. Priti Vishya Nanda Tat Ashraya Nanda. That way, I took the center of love. This is my goal, and this is my son. I, I took the center in that love. English, what is that? The pleasure of the object of love is the pleasure of the subject of love. Yes. So, Krishna wants to be subject. Krishna wants to take shelter of Ashraya. Uh, no, like a, like a Radhika. Ashraya, he took Ashraya subject for the love of Radhika. Mm. Krishna become subject and Radhika become object. Yeah. Krishna, uh, usually Krishna is Vishaya and Radhika is Ashraya. <laughs> Before Chaitanya Chaitanya. Mm. But now changes. Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu changes. Wow. Radhika become eh, Vishaya. <laughs> Krishna become Ashraya. Means Krishna takes shelter of Radhika, Swamini. So Krishna become, Krishna is not Supreme Lord. Krishna is servant of Radhika. This is the beauty of Gauranga Mahaprabhu <laughs> teaching. This is amazing. I get it, Mangala. Okay. Piriti Vishaya Nanda Tad Ashraya Nanda. This has to go of all Lord Yavashi. Mm. That means Radhika's worship or Radhika's supremacy should be there in Godya Vaishnava's philosophy. Means if he is not practicing, they are not God they don't understand. The goal is Radhika, frame of Radhika. It's the goal to understand. And Krishna wants to be subject to understand. So here, God consciousness is not there. No. God searching is not there. No. Wasting your time to search the God. Mm. And to know the all creation. Mm. There is no meaning. It's wasting your time. Mm. Yes. Like uh, Prabhupada mentioned, relation, mm. devotion, mm. 
constitutional position and sarup and sarup siddhi. If you do this, other thing, nothing to read. Other pages, like uh, Bhagavan, Atma, Kala. <laughs> What is Kala and Maya? Karma. Nothing. No, nothing. No need to know. No need to. Wasting our time. Wasting time. Because we don't want to develop relation and mm. practice. They already know when they are come in their sarup. They think out of sarup is Maya. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is ultimate. Why they will say, call Balram and ask? He will say, living out of Sarup is Maya. Why they will read so much? Wow. External things. Wow. <laughs> because this is all come perfect. But we ignore to read that. We want to go to the ignorant subject to pass my time and gathering there for me. <laughs> You can touch your nose like this, mm. but I am not interested. Mm. Mm. I want to go this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. So this is the straight way. Service and fixed. There also Prabhupada page for relation, ser service and leave. One of one of the relations you have to do. You cannot make one person many religions. You are my brother, my husband, my father. You cannot do that. You have to live in one relation. You cannot make five relations. And we don't know the relation because we are so much suffer with relation in material body. We don't in, want to enter it that way. चावल <laughs> This is the point. <laughs> If we fix the relation, mm. we fix the devotion. Mm. And try to know my soul, constitutional poison. Mm. 
and try to perfect you. In that, that perfection is Sarup Siddhi. Mm. No subject to come in. Know your soul and try to practice mm. to, to fix your Sarup. Mm. By grace we have everything. Mm. Only to do it. We know that Baba has what he has, Sarupsit. All this Mahajan, mm-hmm. the story what we are reading, mm-hmm. they are all Sarupsit. Mm-hmm.